WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, two hours left to go in the trading week, and we got markets ending quite a week on positive territory. Dow Jones up 175 points, trading at 25,884. S&P's up 19 points, trading at 2831, and the Nasdaq up a full percent, 76 points in the positive, trading at 7706. Got some negative action in the dollar index, off 204 ticks, trading at 96035. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield, 10-year note up six ticks, 12228. 30-year bond up 16 ticks, 146 on the dot, and gold up seven dollars, trading at. 130270. We'll start it off. Let's jump over to the futures market. We'll start it off with the Dow. A little bit of a roller coaster in both directions. 8 a.m. this morning, we're trading at almost 25,890. You see the Dow trade from 25,890 all the way down. 200 plus points to 25,680. And from there, boom, we're up more than 200 points back to higher trading action, 25,920. Looking at that June future Dow contract. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story, not too much of a pullback, almost at session highs, trading at 73.54. Just before the market opened, we were trading down there at about 72.85. So there's your 70 NASDAQ 100 points to the positive side. S&P's trading at 28.31, highs of the session 28.35, made just, just about an hour ago. Crude oil, volatility in both directions as well. 4 a.m. Eastern time, trading up there almost at $59. We trade all the way to 57.80. We bounce to higher trading, 58.55. Gold contract trading at 1302.57 and the pound trading at 132.83. Terms of what else you have happening across the market, checking in on the VIX. Quite a volatility number as you would expect. 1267 on the VIX as the S&P just continues higher. Some of the Higher moving stocks out there, you got Tesla down almost 5%. They launched their Model Y, their crossover SUV, $39,000 in the market. Kind of just uh, not quite living up to what they might have hoped from that crossover SUV vehicle. Maybe it's going to be taken away from some of the Model 3 orders. Maybe it's just not going to have the demand they thought. Nonetheless, Tesla down 275.63. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Dave White coming up right now with the Power Trading Hour, and then Tom O'Brien wraps up the trading week live from 3 till 4. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Friday.